The Perfect General 2 from QQP is, like the original, a hex-style war game that... Hey, where are you going? I'm leaving. If this is going to be another war game that takes three hours just to learn what buttons to push, and then I have to memorize the entire catalog of military weaponry just to know what kills what, I'm out of here. Hold on, hold on. This is The Perfect General 2 from QQP, the folks who brought us The Perfect General. So sit down and relax. I think you'll dig this. Besides, you don't get paid for this if you leave. Hey now, did I say I was going anywhere? Like the original, The Perfect General 2 is a hex-style board game with a basic variety of tanks, artillery, and ground troops. Is that an airplane? There weren't airplanes in the first Perfect General. Yep. The game is pretty much the same as the first with a few minor tweaks and adjustments. All for the better. But when it comes right down to it, this is a move-and-shoot war game. That does sound simple enough. That's because it is. It's a very simple game to learn and play. The real complexity is in winning. Once you choose whether to play a pre-designed battlefield or an actual war campaign, you start out with a number of buy points that are used to purchase your units. Hold on. The buying menu says things like medium tank and machine gun. You mean there's not things like a Q-9456789-2 tank and a P-86784 style machine gun they have to learn about before you know if you want to buy it? Not at all. The Perfect General 2 calls a tank a tank and a plane a plane. They keep the units basic and straightforward. Whoa. Are you sure this is a war game for the PC in the 90s? It's too much like a real game. Once you buy your weapons, mines, and fortifications, you set your forces up however you want in the areas that you control. So I actually get to choose my own weaponry and place it wherever I want instead of the computer setting up everything for me? I feel so grown up all of a sudden. The graphics are well done, and your pieces are animated as they move from hex to hex. But if you don't like the animations, you can just turn them off. You can even set the delay time for moving from hex to hex. Now that I think about it, you get to decide just about every aspect about how this game plays. I'll be darned. From choosing how fast the computer plays to how fast your forces move, it's all customizable. But wait, I feel as though... Yes, yes, I sense something's wrong. I, I feel a disturbance in the force. Oh, young Jedi, if one wishes to be nitpicky about these things... Please, nitpick master. I love it when you pick nit. When you're moving your units, each has a certain amount of fuel for the turn. The different types of terrain take a certain amount of fuel to travel over, which means the range is different depending on the terrain. Most every hex-style game is like that. Yes, but when you choose the unit you want to move, there are no immediate range finders. You can right-click on the mouse to see how much fuel any destination requires, but there's no way to see all of the options at once. Well, at least they've added the ability to find the range with the click of a button. Like I said, it's a small thing wanting to see where I can and can't move at a glance, but it would have been nice. Firing is the same deal. When you choose your unit to fire, there is no indication of all the enemy units that are in range. Except for the artillery, which does show you what units are in range, but artillery's it. Oh boy, so you go around clicking on all of the enemy units that you suppose are in range just to see whether you can fire at them or not. The game lets you cycle through all the available targets with the spacebar. But again, it would have been nice to see all of the available targets at once. Outside of those couple of things, the Perfect General 2 is, um, perfect. Yeah, it's like chess in that you have a small number of basic pieces. It's easy to move around, easy to learn. It's a strategy of the interaction of the units that makes it complex. You can put your brain power into winning instead of trying to learn which airplane can carry the most bombs at a certain speed. When playing the Perfect General 2, you can really tell that this was designed by folks who know how to make a game that's fun and not so detail-oriented that it takes the enjoyment away. If you want a strategy game that's not worried about historic details and muzzle velocities, this is one to definitely check out. Now, aren't you glad you stayed? You're not kidding. The Perfect General 2 is excellent. I'm keeping it on my hard drive for a while. But one more thing. I still get paid for this, right?